the mound if you're just joining us. The big news today, manager David Ross and president of baseball operations, Jet Hoyer, testing positive for COVID. They're both quarantining, asymptomatic as of right now. Andy Green is the acting manager. You see everybody masking up again in the dugout. Yep. Play at the plate. Uh oh. Called out. We'll see. Andy Green wants to challenge. A little bobble by Moran. The throw beats him in plenty of time. The tag just never got there. I mean, it just. Uh, if he puts the glove in front of the plate, it's a no brainer. But the tag goes up around the thigh. Hunter Wendell steps on the call back in New York. And he's ready to make his decision. The Cubs can't believe it. They're out of challenges. That's hit on a bounce. Duffy to second for one. On to first, and it's too high. And Alcantara airmailing that throw. Andy Green is going to come out. And ask about the slide at second. Well, question is, was it a bona fide slide? Did he go out of his way to make contact with Alcantara? That's hit pretty hard. And on the delivery, did he go out of way? It looks like he slid straight into the bag. So remember, at the professional level, it's the bona fide slide rule. The four criteria: begin slide prior to the base able and attempts to reach the base able and attempts to remain on the base after completing the slide, and then reaches the base without changing pathway. The Cubs are going to go on criteria four here, but if we look at the replay, it's a very slight thing at the professional level. Remember, runners choose their own base path, so this is a legal play. It also amuses me that we get so bogged down in these rules, we kind of totally overlooked the old school. Did the runner actually interfere with the fielder or was the throw already gone? That sort of thing. Normally you're shortstop in that situation and have a little momentum. Oh, Andy Green's been ejected from this game. It's just a matter of arguing the call, or if if, if the, the Italians refusing to review it, is that a reviewable play? Of course it is. We've seen that play reviewed. And that might be what Andy's worked up about. Not not review. Yeah, that's my that's my guess. He took it for a little while. Now. <laughs> He's coming back at Andy. Did Hallian just say, you don't know what you're talking about? That's why you're not the manager. Yeah. <laughs> John Boyd's going to love this. Well, part of it, you have this wet dirt there. You, you kind of have evidence, of, at least the sliding path, of where he ended up. And yep. I think you see this last second adjustment he makes, Newman makes, on the slide, where he kind of starts going towards Alcantara. This is the last little adjustment, and although he catches all the base, he does make a little bit of a move towards him in his throwing. Uh, and again, I, I think that Andy's biggest beef would be that they're not taking another look at it. Yeah. Um, he, he took, he just, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot there. So the reason they didn't take a look at it, Cubs were out of challenges. It's only the sixth inning, so you can't have a crew chief review. It's too early. There's the ejection. Andy Green says, screw your COVID protocols. I'm taking my mask off and spitting in your face. Behind the runner. If we look at that again, but that's where he, you could see him make a quick adjustment. Yeah, he altered his path just a little bit. Just, just yeah. a little bit. And, and the question is that enough to say he, he targeted him or interfered? So watch watch the last adjustment he makes. He's going in and watch him just turn at the last second and go towards him. Right, that's the question. Now he still has plenty of the base, but his whole slide is, is towards his leg. So right there is a perfect illustration of the difference between college and professional baseball. In college, that is illegal because it's not between the bases, but in professional baseball, this is deemed a legal slide. Green's first ejection since manager of the Padres in 2019, also his first day's interim manager of the Cubs with Ross out, and it's also Hallian's second day back from a head injury. They're running out of managers here. 